welcome to Tiger Region News for Wednesday, September 13th. I'm Matthew, and this is my co-host Landon, and here's our friend Jerry again. Thanks for joining us today. Do you remember the fire drill we had the other day? Yeah, I thought it was the real deal. Me too. I wonder why we do drills. I don't know. Let's find out. Hi, I'm Courtney here with Mr. Reese. And why do we have emergency drills here at our school? Because I want to make sure that everybody here at school is safe in the event of an actual emergency. What types of drills are there? Uh, we'll do fire drills like we did last week with the evacuation, uh, low level lockdown, high level lockdown, uh, weather related emergencies, things like that. How will we know if the drills are only drills and not real emergencies? It's mm, a good question. Um, I'll, I'll say, you know, typically we like to run our drills as though it's the real thing because if we practice it like it's the real thing, then if the real thing happens, um, then you guys will be prepared. So when it's over with, we'll let you know that it's a drill. And how many drills will we have this year? We're, we, we are supposed to do one a month, so we should get at least one per month. Okay, thank you. Thanks for the interview, Mr. Reese. Turning to other news, Miss King's students have been learning a lot of stuff in Spanish. Tell me about it. We've been working hard. Check out this video of some of us singing our ABCs in class. <laughs> We'll be back right after this. It's neck and neck. Will friendship win the game? I don't always smile, but when I do, for a yearbook picture, I don't always just nice, but when I do, it's for a yearbook picture. <laughs> I don't always pose normally, but when I do, it's for a yearbook picture. I am the most interesting mom in the world. Welcome back to Tiger Vision News. Your books are for sale. The, they cost $40 and you can reserve your copy now. Go see Mrs. Allison in room 503 or get online and reserve your copy today. And while we're talking about yearbooks, everyone put October 4th on your calendars. That's when we're taking our school pictures. If it's on your calendar, then you'll remember to dress nice that day. Our next homework blitz is on the 20th. Start checking with your teachers to see if you have any missing work. You don't want to miss recess. Now let's go check in with Charlie and see what kind of weather is headed our way. Hi, I'm Charlie here with you weather. Current conditions are partly cloudy, 81 degrees, with southeast winds at 2 miles per hour. It's tonight's regional forecast. There's no rain in our area. Your five-day forecast is at 90s and 80s throughout the week. I'm Charlie, and back to you. Thanks, Charlie. Now let's find out what's going on in sports. Hello, FMS sports fans. I'm Courtney, and here's Salma, and here's a look at today's sports. Members of the tennis Tiger B team play Irons today. They've been putting in a lot of time to get ready for these matches. Today's matches start at 4.30, and it's over at the high school. The girls' next volleyball games are tomorrow. They play Bush in what should be a, some pretty exciting games. 7th A and 8th B play at 5.30. 8th, 8th, and 7th B play at 6.30. The games are here at FMS. Make sure you come out and support the girls. Well, that's a look at today's sports. Back to you. That's all we have today. Thanks for watching Tiger Vision News. Everyone have a great afternoon. We'll see you later. Until then, Tigers. Bye. Bye.